Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So we are back with another foundation review today. I had so many of you guys message me on my social media and ask if I would review the new Milk Makeup Blur Liquid Foundation. So this foundation was actually really not on my radar at all as something that I kind of wanted to try or was something that caught my attention. But I looked into it after you guys had told me about it and you thought it looked really good. So I checked it out and it did, it looked interesting. Now this is more of a matte foundation and I don't particularly go for matte foundations. That's probably why it wasn't on my radar. I usually typically go for things that are more like satiny or dewy or glowy looking. That's what I prefer on my skin. My skin is pretty, I don't know, I was going to say it's more normal right now. I get oily in the T-zone, but like my cheeks and everywhere are pretty normal. Although I do get dry patches at the same time. So I think I'm kind of all over the place and I just prefer a more like luminous looking skin. I feel like as you get older, I feel like that's kind of the route you want to take with your skin. You want to put that hydration back into your skin and you don't want something that's going to be like super matte and like suck the moisture look out of your skin. So that's just my personal preference, but this is a matte foundation. So we're going to test it out. It is what I'm wearing right now on my skin. I've had this on now for about an hour. So that's where we are right now. But obviously we will go through the demo and go throughout the day as well. And I'll let you guys know my final thoughts at the end. But this foundation retails for $40. You do you get one fluid ounce, which is your standard amount of foundation. It comes in a little squeezy tube like this, which I honestly don't mind. It's easy to travel with if you're going to just throw this in your gym bag or your luggage or something like that. It's super easy to travel with, so that's not bad. I don't mind that it's in a little squeezy tube. This is supposed to be a full coverage matte foundation, like I was saying. It's also supposed to be ultra weightless, and it's supposed to blur the pores and kind of just make your skin look very airbrushed and give it like a soft focus effect to it. There are 16 different shades of this foundation. I picked it up in the shade medium light. Now, I will say I think their shade options could be a little bit better. I felt like a lot of them when I was testing them out were either too pink or too yellow on my skin. And my skin is very neutral. I don't lean more pink. I don't lean very yellow at all. So it was a little bit hard to find a really good match for my skin tone. I actually think this one did work out pretty good. You'll see that as we apply. Now, as for the ingredients in this foundation, there's no alcohol in this foundation at all, let alone the third ingredient, but it does have fragrance. Fragrance is listed at the very last ingredient on the ingredient list. So that might be a deal breaker for some, but it is, again, the very last ingredient. So there's gotta be just a very tiny bit of fragrance in here. And when I smell this foundation, I honestly really don't smell anything at all. I mean, no, I really don't smell anything super potent or anything that's gonna be, you know, as soon as you open it, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, like you can smell that fragrance. You know when you open a Chanel foundation, you're just like blown away by fragrance. Actually in a bunch of those like department store brands, you open it and you are just like shot in the face by that perfumey smell. I really don't smell anything with this. So it's gotta be just a very tiny little bit. Again, that might be a deal breaker for some people. So I wanted to let you know that is the last ingredient in this foundation. For testing out this foundation today, I was definitely game to try this one after kind of reading about it. It seemed very interesting and I kind of got intrigued by it. Something a little bit different for me because I don't, again, usually typically try out matte foundations. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. We're gonna apply everything, see how it goes on, see how it blends. And then I will check back in with you at the end of the day and we'll see if this is holding up to what it looks like now. So let's zoom in, let's get started. So I'm gonna start out with this primer right here. This is the 100% pure, this is the luminous primer, and I'm completely obsessed with this primer. It is so good if you wanna add moisture to your skin, it gives a nice, light, like luminosity look to your skin. I am so in love with this, and I feel like this is gonna be a perfect primer to use with this foundation, being that it is a more matte foundation. So I'm gonna get a nice size pump of this primer here, and this primer just feels so so good on your skin. It's moisturizing and soothing and makes your skin feel so, so prepped and just nice and ready for makeup. I'm gonna really make sure to get my nose because I always seem to, when I wear like a matte foundation, I always seem to get like dry patches on my nose, which is really weird because I don't ever see dry patches on my nose. But whenever I apply something like too matte to my skin, I always see those like little flakies on my nose. So I wanna make sure I have that all primed which I do, so everything feels good. Love that primer. So let's pull out the foundation. It looks like this, comes in a tube, squeezy tube type of situation. Let me shake that up real quick because it's actually pretty liquidy. So I'm just gonna apply it to the back of my hand first. You can see it right there. As you can see it's kind of runny. So this is the shade medium light. I don't know if this is gonna match me. We'll see. I'm just gonna kind of start dabbing it onto my skin. I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. 
because for some reason I feel like matte foundations always dry quicker on your skin too. So you want to work fast. At least for me, I always feel like, I don't know, I feel like they dry really quick. All right, so it's kind of yellowy. I just couldn't get a perfect match with this foundation. I feel like they need more neutral tones. My skin is so neutral. It's not pink, it's not yellow. I tend to go for more neutral to like peachy tones. Okay, so here we have the foundation. I'm kind of just looking at it myself in the mirror here. It's nice, it's definitely matte, but it's not like, it doesn't feel drying as of now at least. It doesn't feel like dry on my skin. There's sometimes I'll apply a matte foundation and like right away my skin just feels dry. This one doesn't feel dry, but it definitely, again, on my nose, it just looks like there's some dry patches. Every time I put something matte on, I swear my nose picks up every little dry patch. And then also up here around like the brow region is another area. It's like those two areas, if I'm gonna pull dry patches, it's right in here and it's gonna be like on my nose. And it is definitely kind of accentuating that dryness right there. Not horribly, I've tried foundations that looked way worse on those areas, so it's not bad. And once I kind of, you know, apply my powder and just kind of do the rest of my makeup. Usually those things can kind of look a little bit better, but I'll zoom you guys in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can see on my nose, just right in here. Hopefully you guys can see how it's just picking up a little bit of dryness in here, and then also a little bit around the brows. Don't mind Mr. Little Friendly Pimple there, but it's just picking up a little bit around the brow area. But the rest of my skin looks good. It's nice and smooth. I would say that it does have a good blurring effect to the skin. My pores look really nice and blurred and all of that, so that I do really like. Okay, so I'm gonna go apply the rest of my makeup for the day. I will come back, I will check in with you guys so you can see what it looks like just as soon as I finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I will go throughout my day and check back in with you guys later this evening so we can see exactly how it's holding up. As of now, I'm just kinda like up in the air with it. I really don't have any first impression thoughts. It's not like one of those foundations where I put it on and I'm super wowed right away. It's just kinda like okay right now, so we'll kinda see how it goes throughout the day, but yeah, it's definitely not one of those foundations where I can put it on and just be like, oh my gosh, like this is it, which does happen to me with foundations. I can apply a foundation and sometimes I'm just so wowed right away. This, I'm not feeling that. So we'll see though, we'll see how it goes throughout the day. It could get better, it could get worse. We will see, but I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back with the rest of my makeup on today and I have to tell you, I am insanely impressed. I did not think I was gonna love it as much as I did. It actually looks better now than it did when I first applied it. My skin looks so insanely just blurred and smooth and perfect. Now I did take the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness Powder. I showed you guys that powder in some previous videos. I absolutely love that powder. I just took that and that's what I used down my T-zone to kind of set the T-zone because one, it does help to cancel out redness, which I am prone to redness in the T-zone area, so it helps with that, but it actually does give coverage at the same time. So when I applied it down the T-zone, any of those little dry patches that I had on my nose or kind of in between my brows just kind of canceled out and smoothed over, so they're not noticeable at all. I'm looking in the mirror and I would not be drawn to like any little flakiness on my skin at all. But the rest of my makeup went on super well, super smooth over top of it. I did use some cream products on my skin, some cream contour, some cream highlight, just to kind of balance out the matteness and really put some more glow back into my skin. Because again, as you guys know, that's what I really enjoy the most with my skin. I like to give it a little bit of that glow to it. But I have to say that I am so impressed and I am just loving the the way this is looking on my skin. I'm having a good makeup day. My skin looks really amazing. And I will say that this color that I chose, this medium light tone, actually worked really perfectly on my skin. Once I kind of applied like bronzer and blush and all of that, it really balanced out with my skin. It looks really good. I would definitely not think this is too yellow for my skin now. So once you have everything applied and it kind of sets with your skin in a little bit, then it definitely kind of blended in better than it did at first. So I am highly impressed, you guys. I think this is so beautiful and I have my fingers crossed that the rest of the day my makeup holds up and if it stays looking like this, I will be a happy girl. So I'm gonna go throughout my day. I will check back in with you guys later and we'll see. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm back. It is now seven o'clock at night. I don't even remember what time I applied this foundation this morning, but I do know it's been a long, full day of wear. So I have not touched up in the slightest all day long. I have been checking it out in the mirror though, as
as the day goes on. And I've noticed that, yes, I am getting oily in the T-zone, nothing crazy over the top for how long it's been, but I definitely could use a quick little touch up, but how easy is that? I don't mind touching up throughout the day at all. Again, I did apply a more hydrating, moisturizing, luminous primer, so that's gonna you know, factor in as well to how a foundation is going to wear throughout the day. If, if I would have applied a more mattifying primer, then I probably wouldn't be as luminous as I am now, but again, I don't mind touching up. I'd rather look a little bit more moisturized throughout the day. So I just wanna look quickly myself at how the foundation looks up close. Yeah, I I'm definitely oily, definitely a little shiny, but I can live with that. I just mostly want to see if I am breaking up anywhere, which I don't seem to be breaking up. I'm not really creasing in these lines either. That looks really good yet. I don't know, a little bit of like caking and like creasing around my nose here. That's the only area that I see that's kind of just like breaking up or looking a little bit, I don't know, a little bit bad right here. But yeah, honestly, my makeup still looks really good. Pores look really good yet. They still look minimized and blurred. They don't look gigantic at the end of the day. They look good. That is the only area of concern right there. It's not really concerning me, but the only area just right around your nose, right there. All right, let's do this zoom in here. So you can see my pores, you can see my skin everything looks really good again yes I am oily only area to see around my nose right there how it's just kind of like broken up and just a little bit like cakey right in there just around the crevice again that's kind of a normal thing that can happen with foundations not you know the end of the world you can just see like right in there but my forehead is not breaking apart everything still looks intact and the rest of my makeup is holding up well on top of it so now if this was just a normal day and I wanted to touch up just a quick touch up you know as you're going throughout your day all I would do is just take a clean powder brush like this is what I always do I just take a clean powder brush and just go over the t-zone just kind of like dabbing it like this just to kind of blot up any of that shine without laying down excess powder or anything like that and it does a really good job of just I don't know, like a quick little touch up and you can just see what that just did to my skin right there. My skin looks exactly the same as when I first applied it this morning. I really like you. I think this is so good. I love the way it looks, the way it's holding up, the way it's just making my pores and everything look. I think it is fabulous, you guys. I think the coverage is amazing. It's definitely a good and medium to full coverage for sure. I mean, it covered up everything beautifully on my skin. So if you're looking for more of a full coverage foundation, this is another good option. It does leave your skin absolutely beautiful I am so impressed if you can find your shade in this I would definitely suggest trying this one out it is still super lightweight on my skin I do not feel like heavy or I don't feel like I want to wash my face I hate that feeling but this is one of you guys this is a great foundation I'm definitely approving this one as a foundation that I will keep on using for sure myself I really like it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed this review thumbs up don't forget forget to hit that thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, future foundation reviews. I have a Fenty Beauty Foundation review that I have to film and that'll be coming up soon. I got more requests from you guys to test out that foundation so we're doing that soon. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.